One of the maternal traits that PCC selects for is udder quality. Because this is a heritable trait, all the bulls in our sale catalog will be listed with an udder score for their dam on a five-star scale. If you raise your own replacement heifers, this is something you should watch for. A Nebraska study shows that the primary concern for udder quality is the newborn calf's ability to hook up and receive colostrum. Poor quality udders did not make a big difference in calf performance. However, calves from higher scoring cows did hold an edge for weaning weights and back fat thickness. I never paid much attention to udder quality until I met Kit Pharaoh. I showed him what I thought were my best cows and he asked, what makes you think these are your best cows? I was looking for good confirmation and structural soundness, but he said, what about their udders? Well, I'd never paid a lot of attention to their udders unless there was a problem. We would cull the occasional old cow with huge teats or a swing bag, but other than that, if the calf didn't have a problem with it, I didn't either. It soon became obvious that if I was going to produce breeding stock for PCC, I would have to learn to evaluate udders. Here's a couple of things for you to consider when judging a cow's udder. Number one, moderate udder size. A large milk cow type udder is a burden to a beef cow, not a blessing. As previously discussed in a video on maternal traits, more milk means higher cow maintenance requirements. Kit Faro says, contrary to popular opinion, we do not raise calves on milk, we raise calves on grass. According to a study in Australia, more than 80% of a calf's ability to grow from birth to weaning is due to his genetic foraging ability. Less than 20% can be attributed to milk. Number two is udder attachment. Look for a forward attachment to the abdominal wall. This keeps the udder from swinging or hanging too low. Ideally, the udder should maintain a level floor. The quarters should appear uniform rather than separated, funnel-shaped, or uneven. Udder quality usually declines as the cow ages, so these basic structural traits can help assure years of service. Number three, teat size and placement. We're looking for smaller, cylinder-shaped teats that hang straight down, perpendicular to the ground. These are easier for the calf to get hold of at birth and less prone to mastitis. Large, long, or bottle-shaped teats can be difficult for a newborn calf to nurse and will only grow worse as the cow ages. These three positive traits make calving time easier and lead to a longer trouble-free career for the cow. The udders in your cow herd are hereditary and can be approved if you're headed in the right direction with the right herd sires. Buy your bulls from someone who selects for traits that make your life easier and increase your profit. I'll see you next time on the Herd Quitter Minute.